All right, everyone. Hello, welcome back to what I suspect could well be the final video of this Let's Play series. I'm in the back shadow. Welcome to Blind Dark Cloud. And yeah, we've gone to the end of the gallery of time, folks. Uh, we have um, finished all of the dreams. We've pieced it all together. We've seen the uh, disastrous things that the King of the East decided to do in order to try and save both his wife and his country. And yeah, yeah, he he had some deep regrets to put it mildly. Um, but his chance to try and rectify the past has now come to us in the form of Toen. We are at Amelia, we've made all our way to the end of the game, and now we just need to uh, get the... Uh, we need to basically try to find a way to stop the uh, Dark Genie from even being born in the first place, hence us travelling back 400 years. It's a novel concept, but one that should, uh, that should hopefully work. So, let's go. I need to quickly go through the final level of the dungeon again and just get to the end uh, clock. So give me two seconds just to cut through that. It shouldn't take too long. All right, folks, we've got our clock hands. Ingarga, our kicker in chief, as always. Those were my father's last words, and I asked my father who had shut his eyes for the last time. Father, tell me, if I am to be king, what am I to accomplish? I met you at the night of the ceremony, the ceremony where I was to officially become king. This is memory all coming together now. Your blue eyes. When I saw them, I felt an inexplicable excitement, but you suddenly disappeared from the crowd. Who on earth are you? I want to see you again. That's all I can think of these days. Then the minister came to my room with a desperate look on his face. A carriage carrying the princess of our neighbouring kingdom is lost in the storm. It was one hour later that I met you again. Enemies lurk behind the morning mist. While I calm my steed, I send the sign to my thousands of allies behind me. All at once, the cavaliers advance. I witness a fearsome scene unfold before me. Yep, it's a war. I thought I heard my father's voice. Do not fear. Your task is to defend this kingdom. But my allies fall one after another. The West has a wizard with fearful powers. Are we going to be defeated? No, I won't let that happen. I must defend this place or the devils of the West will invade your castle. I cannot allow that. A long time had passed since the battle started. Our troops were almost totally wiped out. I was taking a brief rest to formulate a plan to turn the tide. But the man came up to me, a man in a black robe, who asked me, Do you want the power to win this battle? The light coming from my hand obliterates my enemies. Is this the dark power? I bargained with the devil for his power, but with it, but I with it, I can save us all have this power, no one can harm you. Except, of course, I was euphoric at the victory when I returned to the castle. Soon I would see you again. You came. Sooner than I'd fought, my heart, spent from the battle, raced. I didn't know that you, who'd entered my room, would be the imposter who was after my life. couldn't believe it. It should have been me. You saved my life at the expense of your own. Why do you smile? Because you save the one you love? But what about me? Who am I to save? 
Something was born in me. Something malevolent and terrible. The black blood that now coursed through me gave birth to that thing. That evil. Sadness, anger and hatred at losing you. This endless blackness is the energy that feeds him. The wizard's experiment all too successful. My kingdom was laid to waste at his hand. I lost not only you, my beloved, but my land, my people. I lost everything. Everything. No, it's not. What I'd really lost was myself. There's only one way to do it. I don't care if I destroy space and time in the process. Jeez. I will do it. I will stop him. I'll take back everything. Everything I lost. All of it. Where the hell are we now? Four hundred years ago. Let's see how good our timing is, everyone. If you want to break rules and change history, interesting. Let's see how you do. I know who that is. Open the door to the past and realize how powerless you are. The Dark Genie knows what we're up to. He's taunting me. Scumbag. It ain't gonna be so funny when I when I fucking kill him. There he is. There's Seda. And there's his kingdom. Was it really the right thing to do? Well, we won, but why do I feel this darkness about me? Oh, so he's already done it. Oops. Seda! There's Sophia. He's hiding behind the bed. <laughs> You're alive. The war is over. The killing is over. <laughs> That's wonderful. There shall be no more bloodshed. And together now, we'll rebuild our kingdom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who do you think you're standing next to? It's gonna get complicated. Are you not seeing this yet? Sky does mean to sneak into the castle and destroy you. Uh oh. Yeah, I think she is the real one. Oh no. Are you kidding me? There's no way. Oops! Get him! Ah! Aha! You've been thwarted! Doesn't matter. Oh! I've been frozen? Hello? Well, we fought his plans. Bastard from the West! Despicable coward! Oh, I love old video games where they have no voice acting. They can throw in these lines and get away with it. Prepare to die. He's still going to screw this up. Oh! Oh, that's not good. He's been... Oh! Oh, shit. But from here... You won the war... But you lost something important. Uh 
Uh oh. Bye! Well, that's bad news. We came here to try and stop her dying. We have failed miserably. Shoot. Thank God. We've defeated the West, but our people are spent. Be a good and noble king, please. Damn. Well, this is going to be complicated. Um, no. Uh-oh. Um, no, look, you've got this all wrong. Well, sometimes, folks, your best just isn't good enough. We couldn't stop it being born. Great. What in the hell is this? Oh, hi! You failed. Yeah, I, I tried my best, all right? Look, can we... I tell you what. Best two out of three. The infinite power given to me can drink up the very flow of time. Beyond time, I will reign over all. You know when I was calling you like, uh, like Budget Sephiroth? Now I'm having some real flashbacks to like, um, the, the final boss fight is Sephiroth now looking at you. It's kind of eerily, eerily similar. Can't lie. I'll exist without it. This never ending flood dark power will see me to the pinnacle of all that exists. Um, I don't quite agree, buddy. For what I assume is final boss time against the Dark Genie. Right, okay then. How are we going to kill this son of a bitch? This is going to be tricky. How? Right, we need to work something out here. Okay, melee world combat is not going to work here. So I'm going to suggest we're going to need to like invest in some sort of... Uh... Okay, that's not going to work. Oh, we need to shoot the hands. Don't know what happened there. Right, we've got to shoot the hands, basically. Yeah, we can't hit the genie on himself here, so we're going to have to do it this way. Okay, sounds good. Osman's probably a good candidate for this, actually. God damn it. Okay, so we've only got so long to do this fight because he has a variety of attacks that are just going to clip me, which is going to be unfortunate. There we go. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem here. Okay, then. Tell you what, let's change plans here. We're getting Gaga doing it. No effect? What do you mean, no effect? Oh, no. Don't tell me. Oh, Christ. We've got elemental fun, haven't we? I bet we do. Wonderful. Ooh, that's some damage. Hello. Oh, hold on a second. Look at his hands. Notice the hands there. Ah, oh, look at it. It's blue. His hands are changing. I called it Elemental Boss Fight. I fucking called it. Right, so we need to change elements depending on what he's got here. Right, it's on ice. Ice, I think, is going to call for Toe in here. He's our ice man. I so fucking called this elemental stuff. I knew this was coming at some point. There we go. God damn it. So I hear where I change his elements. So notice, yeah, look, now he's changing the elements on his hands here. So we've got, I think that's pink and green. Okay, so we're going to need to do it with the pink one. What have we got that's holy? Who's good holy? Not really you. Uh, Ruby's our holy person. So we'll change over then. Looks like this is how we're going to rock and roll here. 
think that's holy. Oh, damn it. Still on wind. Now you're just being rude. Now he's just being really rude. Okay, who's on air? Not you. Probably, uh, probably in Gargar, actually. He's probably our air person. His elements are pretty good. Yeah, his air's pretty good. Ow. Don't know if there's a way for me to block that attack or not. There might not be shit. Uh-oh. Oh, I might get hit here. Oh, managed it. Nice. There we go. Oh, piss. I missed. Shit. What we got next, then? Uh, ice and lightning. Okay. Let's change to uh, back to toe in here. Ow. Ooh, that actually hit a lot harder than I was expecting. That's unfortunate. Right. Let's do some healing. I might even whack on the stamina drink, too, actually, I reckon. Sure, why the hell not? We got him to spend. Let's do it. Come get some. Oh, yeah. Eat 500 damage, scumbag. Lightning. Uh, that's back to Ngarga again, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, oh, no choice, but to kind of just change through them a little bit here. This is why... Oh, it's, of course, Osmond. Of course, his weapon doesn't have any elemental at all. It's got, it's got basically none, so it's... Uh, Yes, I haven't even assigned an element onto uh, Osmond's weapon, so it does the damage regardless. Okay, that's good to know. So you could just go non-elemental for this, but you should really try and make use of the elemental damage where possible. You don't have to, I guess. There we go. Well, we're getting him slowly. I don't know how much health this guy's got, but I've got some serious fucking weapons, so uh, I reckon... You have to come up with some new tricks here, uh, Dark Genie. I figured you out, son. Ow. Unless you don't think I can block that. What we got next? Uh, wind and holy. Right, Ruby. Ah! Oh my god, that was a lot of damage I just took there. That was ugly. That was very brutal. Oh, my God, that does a lot of damage. There we go. There's a nice hit. Get another one as well. Nice. Uh, That was different. I think there's a change attack coming here. Or maybe not. Hard to tell. Oh, oh, look, I've taken out one of his hands. That's what's happened. i got to take both his hands out. Okay, I get it. Right, so now he's only attacking with his right hand now. Okay, then, so we've weakened him. That's what's happening here. We'll take out both his hands, and then I guess then it's the next part of the boss fight. Let's see, see what's going on here. Oh, really, Ngarga? I guess I was asking a lot. It definitely seems to be what we're looking for here. Right, he's changing, ha he's changing elements here, but... Yeah, it's only the right one. I think that's, uh... I can't tell if that's pink or red. Hard to tell. Oh, he's changing elements again. Sneaky. That's definitely red, I think. No, changing elements again. That's definitely red. Uh, that's Goro. Yeah, that's nice. Juicy damage. Nope. Just in the nick of time. Useful actually the way Gorka's Gora attacks downwards. I can like get a last hit so at the end. That's actually pretty useful. What we got next? Thunder. That'll be uh that'll be in Garga. I need to change the elements though. I've got no one that's really like properly committed to like um to Thunder, unfortunately. Like on its own. In Garga's having to do two elements, this is fine. Music's not too bad here for the final fight. Oh, he changed elements again. God damn you. That's holy. Come on, Ruby. Get him. Oh, missed. Ruby's a little bit tricky to hit, actually. Because you have to turn quickly enough. There we go. We got both his hands. Okay, that's good. Now, he's got a notice. He's got his... Uh, whoa! He's got a bit there on his head there, so... Right. 
Return fire. Now, does this have an element, or do I just have to hit him? I think I just got to get hits in here. Ow. Okay, he doesn't appreciate this at all, does he? He, he definitely doesn't. Right, it's heal, and we're going to leave you some stamina as well. Come on, fucker. Time to die! Yeah, you can't even block it. you just got to take the hit, basically. Uh, whoa, whoa, that was unfortunate. Wow, that was with a stamina block as well. That was a lot of damage we just took there. That's un unfortunate. Sound of making a big difference, though. Yeah, he's definitely pissed. I don't blame him. We are kind of foiling his plans for uh, world domination here. I'd be pretty upset. Let's keep the stamina going, Ruby. You're, uh, you're our girl for this. No question about that. It is a yellow eye. I don't know if that makes any difference. I don't think our element we're using here makes any difference at all. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, I don't think there's anything you can do about that attack. I think mean, it's just totally unlockable. You just gotta, uh, just gotta deal with it. As I just walk into the explosion. Good job, Shadow. Well played. GG. Dumbass. Oh, yeah, he didn't like that either, did you? Dark Genie is summarily pissed. Dark Genie is summarily pissed. Okay. Okay, this is happening. All right, then. Oh, great. He's got friends. Oh, piece of shit. Jesus. Right. I need to kill these things. So I can get this one on one. I don't know what health they've got. Have they got health? I assume they do. Uh, poor stamina drinks. I remember when I used to have you. You were fun. I stitched this. What else have we got here we can use? Set holy gem. Let's see if we can kill these damn things. I don't know if we can. Possible we can't. They may have, they may have, uh, ow, ow, okay, that, that shit hurts, that shit really, really hurts, right, let's put another bio powder on, we got enough health, I just want to see if I can kill these things, maybe we can't, maybe they just have infinite health, to be fair, I'm using a lot of supplies and trying to find out, okay, I'm fairly sure you can't kill these now, right, we're putting the, uh, we're putting the favor back on then, as long as we've got it. I've only got... Oh, I have got two. Good. Right. How the hell am I going to hit this thing? Let's get out of there. Don't know if that's hitting it or not. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm pretty... I'm pretty confident I can't kill them. Pretty damn confident. It's like it hits hard, doesn't it? Decidedly unfortuitous. Yeah, it's not hitting anything. Oh! Oh, they are killable. To some degree. Okay, then in that case, then we do need to take these guys out. Oh, yeah, he's upset. Whoa. Yeah, we need to wait for its head to come down. Okay. And we have to hit it in the head. Okay, then. I get it now. Right, Toan, Gaga, we'll go with Gaga here. Like this. Oh, piss. There's his weak spot. There we go. That's what we need to do. Oh, bastard. Ow. That didn't work too well. I'm using a lot of supplies here. I feel like I could be doing this fight a lot better than I actually am. But hey ho. There we go. That's nice. 
Eat it up, buddy. Yeah. All right, I'll wait for it to do that like claw attack, and then I can clip him. Okay, that's the trick. Oh, Ingarga, you fucking deem with you. You are so, so great. So much damage. I love you. Take this thing out. No, it's blocking up, you bitch. Oh, run. Oh, that was close. Should probably heal here, actually. That'd be a good idea. Oh, that looks unfortunate. Oh, he's revived his friends. Bollocks. That's bad. No. I tell you what, this trans feather is being really useful at getting across the map here. Wow, this makes a huge difference. I approve. Oh, I ain't getting there in time this time. Okay, we'll have to uh, call that that. Run! Christ almighty. I want, if I want to get these down to one at least, that'd be handy. There we go. We got one down. I ain't going to get another chance there. That ain't happening. All right. Nope. Come on. Come get some. Get him, Ungaga. Yeah. I shoved this spear so far up your ass, you won't know what, what, what hole you're pooping out of. Cracks at this. Ah, no, I ain't gonna get to him in time. Bollocks. That's unfortunate. In firstly, yes, because first occurs even in, you know, otherworldly dimensions, because, sure, why the hell not? There we go. Don't know if there's any element he's weak to. Probably not. I doubt it. Final bosses tend to uh, avoid that sort of uh, that crutch. Well, I'd say he's fairly weak to Ungarga, though. I would suggest that's a, a potential elemental weakness. Right, first is hit his limit. Okay, we'll have to install this. Should have bought more then. That would have been useful. Oh, we got him? Yeah, that's what I thought, buddy. No chance. Oh, indeed. You possess great power. But I am immortal. Every time I fall, I will be reborn again. Yeah, this is kind of the whole point of our original plan. Killing me is wasted energy. A hopeless exercise. I am infinite. I also have very pointy fangs. Because I'm a demon. <laughs> win? Oh, hi. The genie will return if you don't get rid of Sina's hate energy. Look around you carefully. Yeah. What do we do about this? Listen up, Toan. What's the plan, old man? Atla Milia has the power to steal almost anything in Atla, but its power extends beyond that. Oh, now you're telling me. You could have told me this like 45 hours ago. Now it is time to use that hidden power. The power to bring a lost soul back. Convenient plot device is convenient. The Atla Milia will be consumed, and with its final power, it can do one thing. It can bring a soul into Atla Milia. It's not too late. Call out for Sophia's wandering soul. Fairy King, by the way, is going to be the worst guide I've ever had in an RPG. That's putting it bluntly.
with the power of the Lord. It's not quite how that works, I don't think. If I've offended some of my audience, then oh well. Oh, hello. Um, yes, we're not going to talk about that giant knife wound in your body, are we? Restoration spell complete. I'm alive. Yeah, don't don't question. Just just accept it. So it's over now. Hooray! That evil will never come back to life. At least not for some time. Yeah, give it about another 400 years. Let's go home. Yeah, she'll be fine. Where did that boy go? Yeah, we'd love to stick around, but uh, you need some quiet time. I was wrong. What an empty victory, selling my soul to darkness. Yeah, you can't undo that either. Desolate and barren, like a drought-stricken field. I heard the boy call my heart. Just don't tell anyone else about the, in the, the village and that. They'll think you're crazy. You told me of the journey you'd take it. Really? That's no, you've been following this Let's Play series. We still have time. Perhaps you as king can create a new world. Boy must have come to tell you just that. I'm gonna ignore 400 years of time paradoxes if you start doing this, but now well, we'll just call it an alternate reality and we'll be done with that. I'm not getting heavy into this shit. <laughs> I've done this one too many times, everyone. I don't need this on a uh, on a Monday afternoon. Let's make it together. Ah. And that, I very strongly suspect, is that the end of Dark Cloud. I will admit, like, as far as a boss fight's concerned, it ain't the best final boss I'll ever take on in my life. Fucking rude. But I suppose, all things considered, given that this game was made in 2000, whatever it was, it was fine. It was fine. It was hardly the worst boss in this game. There were some good bosses. There were some rubbish bosses. Uh, but uh, all in all, everything's okay in this game because Oddman exists. And Oddman makes everything great. Um, so, so it's time for a little bit of a roundup of my thoughts on Dark Cloud, having uh, now played it through. Um, I've definitely enjoyed the time we spent here. Um, I honestly, as I said a couple of videos ago, I thought this was going to take a bit longer to play for this game. Uh, but the game actually require all that much grinding, and I suspect the grinding that I did do um, was probably... I don't really know if any of it was actually that necessary by the end of the game. Like, we obviously had more than enough to take on the final boss. We didn't even basically just in Gaga. Um, so, I think pretty clearly we could have, we were pretty powerful for the end of the game, that's for damn sure. So, could I have gone through the whole game without any grinding at all? Maybe, maybe so, but I wanted to be, be sure and explore different elements of the game, as I like to do. It's like, if you go back to when I did, um, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions, I could have run through that game with about six, seven people max, but I deliberately went and had more people so I could explore different job roles and classes and have a bit of fun with the game. I like doing these in the Let's Play series because ultimately, pretty much all these games I play in these series, I'm probably never going to play again. So I'm really going to have one chance to kind of really explore the mechanics and the game style and everything and, and kind of enjoy everything they can for it. So, 
Um, but yeah, so like I said, Final Boss wasn't too bad. I've seen a shitload worse. Uh, but overall, yeah, I've enjoyed this game. It's been a good blast. Um, it's been enjoyable. It's been a little bit tricky to get videos out for this on occasion, I will admit. But, uh, well, that's RPGs for you sometimes. They're quite be quite heavy time sinks. I think that considering this only took like 45 hours or so of actual physical time, although actually it was a little bit more than that. It's probably a bit closer to about 50. <laughs> what a lovely chap he is, eh? He just wants to have some fun. Um, but yeah, I think considering that, I thought this would be take a lot longer than what it did. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm glad that it kind of in a way didn't because uh, once you get past that like 30, 40 hour mark in a game, it can start to drag a little bit. I don't think this game ever got to that point of dragging, but there was a couple of times that I will admit it got a little close. Um, it was starting to get a touch close towards the back end of Queens, I'll be brutally honest. But luckily, the Sun Moon Temple was pretty sharp. Uh, that didn't take long. And then the and then the, the Moon Sea wasn't too bad. And then the final dungeon actually wasn't that bad either. Um, but it was in danger of starting to feel like it was going to drag a little bit, but it, it avoided that. So good. Uh, I've already mentioned before my thoughts on, like, the side characters. And, oh, we have an epilogue. Are we back at the village? We are indeed. <laughs> oh, you turned it back into a cat. Maybe the fairy king did that. Probably. Ah, oh, you were cute little booty cat. But yeah, so I've already voiced as well my thoughts on like the uh, some of the end characters, um, the side characters in the game. You know, some of them aren't. You know, I wish they'd been more fleshed out. Like Osmond was the only one who felt like got really nicely fleshed out as a side character, like adequately. And as a result, he felt really great and awesome. Unfortunately, he was the last one you get, so that's rather unfortunate. So, but yeah, certainly like Xiao. You know, especially if you think like you you got a side character. You had a bit of backstory maybe to them. You got them. And then that's it. As far as the plot's concerned, they're never mentioned ever again. Much like the, the rest of the crew from the Sun Giant. Where did they go? Never heard from ever again. So I think there could have been definitely some uh, some loose ends tied. Or just ways to like um, get some of the early uh, allies uh, mentioned in the plot later game. I am nitpicking a bit here. I will admit that. But, um, you know, this is a part of being a bit of a critic. I mean, you play a lot of games. You have to be note these things. I did the same for RE6. I did all these sort of games. You know, I got a note where things are a bit of a... Um, a little bit of a miss. Now, I will mention this. Uh, now that we have beaten the game, a brand new land has been added to the world map. We shall save the game. Um... That was not why I expected that. I will show this off quickly. Before we end the game here. And we end the series. Games are operating a little bit suspiciously at the moment. Let's press continue. Did it actually save a clear data somewhere? This one? I honestly don't know. Let's see. Ah, here we are. The demon shaft. So, when you beat the main game, or at least, I believe this is in all versions that aren't the Japanese version, you get access to this area right here. The demon shaft. And yes, you'll notice, it's pretty fucking tall. Hello? Anyone here?
So this is basically a post-game dungeon for you to take on. I believe I mentioned this before. The Demon Shaft has 99 floors on it. Yeah. It's pretty insane. 99 floors to compare that. I believe that was, if you took all the dungeons, the six dungeons in the game that we've already played and put them together, I reckon that's about 100 to 110 floors. This is 99 on its own. Which is pretty proud impressive. But basically, this is what it is. It's an end game dungeon. Uh, much like the, uh, I think it was the Zelmite Mines, I think it was called, um, in Dark Chronicle. And basically, you can come here. There's a lot of enemies from early in the game. Uh, but basically, this is what it is. It's an end game dungeon to take, uh, to take it on. And you can do all sorts of crazy stuff here, which is all well and good. Um, at the end of the floor. Uh, at the end of the, um, the hunt, the 99 floors, at the very end, there's like a super boss, basically, for you to take on. Um, and you can do that to basically, um, take on a ridiculously hard enemy. If you do that, and you win, you get hold of basically like a, a super weapon, effectively. That's more or less how it works. But all the enemies here, you'll notice, have an absolute shit ton of health. Of course, being a super, super dungeon, this is exactly what you suspect. But there you go. So this is a thing you can do. Basically, you want to spend some time. I will not be doing this, however. I think I have spent plenty enough time in this game. 99 floors. That's that's a few too many for me. But there you go. So just wanted to show off that. It is uh, here there. But uh, regardless, that is going to be the end of the series. So again, thank you very much for your company. It's been great. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks to everyone that's actually stuck through this series as well. Uh, the pro I don't like doing RPGs sometimes on the channel because... It's difficult to keep interest, um, it's hard to keep the interest of just watching any kind of long series going. Um, but uh, a lot of you guys have actually stuck this out through to the end. I like to think part of that's down to me, but I suspect the game's little, its charms as well has probably made a difference as well. And I think mean, that's basically how I would describe this game. It ain't perfect. It's definitely a bit rough around the edges in regards to some of its mechanics, uh, which would definitely be polished up in the sequel. Um, and there are some missed areas of opportunity where I think the game could have explored and made it just a little bit a little bit more, a uh, little bit smoother and a bit better overall. But this game definitely has a definite charm to it, which is just just something that a lot of games nowadays just, just don't really possess. It's unfortunately the sad truth of the matter folks, but uh, what can you do? So thank you much everyone for your company. A huge thanks to Starfruit for uh, making this uh, entire series happen. I've enjoyed the time we put into this for sure. Definitely don't regret uh, playing Dark Cloud. Kind of makes me want to play Dark Chronicle, but I don't think I have the time for that at the moment. It's kind of the wrong time of the year. Never mind. Thanks for your cover, everyone. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon.